Yeah, I would definitely love to play in the NBA again, be closer to my family, my children. Um, that's definitely always the goal. Rondé Jaquan Hollis Jefferson, born January 3rd, 1995. Today's feature is the story of keeping your head down, eyes always on the goal, and being focused on developing yourself into a player that can bring something to the game as it's played now. Rondé Hollis Jefferson has been gaining a lot of traction in the basketball world for his play in the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup where he averages 23.6 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists per game, but more for his uncanny resemblance on the court to Kobe Bryant. Jersey number, sneakers and all. The Kobe comparisons for Hollis Jefferson didn't just begin though, he's been called that since high school, where he was allowed to dominate the ball for his team, already physically more advanced than his competition, on his way to a 5-star rating and number one prospect in his state. In college and the NBA, those comparisons faded away for reasons I'll explain later, but has made a return at 28 years old and who knows, may even lead to second life in the NBA a la Joe Johnson's run from Big 3 back to the league. He was the 23rd overall pick in the 2015 draft by the Trailblazers before having his rights traded to the Brooklyn Nets. There, he struggled staying on the court initially, then finding his spots on a bad team, starting to put it together in year three, to not being offered an extension year four, non-guaranteed contracts being waived, and finishing with the team that drafted him for only 11 games before embarking on a career overseas. When asked if he's still motivated to get back to the NBA, his answer is of course, that's always the goal. Do I think he can help an NBA team today at 28 years old? Yes, absolutely. A player that's refined and developed his game to be completely different from it was and became even more effective? Why not? But do I think he'll be able to be the same player in the NBA that he's displaying now as the only NBA player on his FIBA World Cup team and usually the only league player on his overseas teams? That's the most important question. With arguably the greenest light in the world and years of professional development, not to mention a clear high level work ethic, I don't want to say it's easy to look like Kobe on any floor, but sometimes opportunity is all a player needs to find himself and be in position confidence wise to make a better impact the second time around. I couldn't imagine what the talk would be had Rondé Hollis Jefferson entered the NBA with the game he has today, an opportunity like Kobe Bryant had early on, where the GM and Jerry West wholeheartedly believed he could become one of the greatest players ever. But none of that happened, and for these reasons, Rondé Hollis Jefferson became Kobe 2.0 just a little bit too late. Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunning Growth. Let's get it, man. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Rondé Hollis Jefferson was listed as a 6'7 power forward small forward from Chester, Pennsylvania that only started focusing on basketball around 11, 12 years old after his grandfather said he saw something in him that told him he could be a star one day. He fell in love with the game ever since, going on to have an outstanding career at Chester High School where he helped his team to their only undefeated season in school history, won two state titles, county player of the year multiple times, the first player to do so from the Delaware County, and don't forget a top 15 ranking finishing his senior season, McDonald's All-American and Jordan Brand Classic participant. Fitting, he lost his final game of high school, the state championship his senior year to Kobe's high school team, Lower Marion. Can't ask for much more than that, leading into his commitment to Arizona, where he only played two seasons before entering the NBA draft. Stun number one, being misused. Starting right off with what I think may have been the biggest growth stunt to Rondé's career and why I say he became Kobe 2.0 a bit too late. To be clear, 2.0 is only the expression used relating to the names I've seen the internet calling him as of recent, 
Not to suggest he's taking Kobe's game and being better at it. Not at all the case. Seeing Hollis Jefferson's game in 2023 versus what it was throughout his basketball journey, mainly in the NBA, is like seeing a totally different player. When asked what is one of the biggest reasons he's been able to have success now, Rondé responded saying that he learned how to play more on ball opposed to constantly off the ball in the NBA. It's made the world of difference, so much so that you wish it was done earlier. But that's kinda how things went for Hollis Jefferson as a late bloomer to the sport and clear raw talent even while in the league. The Brooklyn Nets were a bad team the first three years of Hollis Jefferson's time there, shocking everyone year four when they won 42 games and made the playoffs, losing in the first round to Philadelphia. Believe it or not, Hollis Jefferson the entire time was playing the power forward position on a small Brooklyn Nets team, even to this day listed as a power forward first, small forward second. Being overseas was a blessing in disguise for him because he got the chance on teams much more inferior to him physically, experience wise and talent, and on those teams he got to bring the ball up the floor, take any shot he saw fit and take what he learned from studying the third best player of all time's moves, mannerisms, decision making, even made himself look like an almost split image of an older Kobe Bryant. Seeing this version of him makes me wish at some point an NBA team noticed sooner he had this potential, but that's almost impossible to foresee, seeing as Rondé himself hadn't made the change in his game yet, stuck in an undersized power forward role throughout the NBA. He was misused by three NBA teams, but now they got to see the new and improved version up close and personal and maybe this time it can turn into a longer stay at the highest level. I went, you know, six years of my NBA career playing without the ball, I figured out, you know, how to play with the ball. Stunt number two, not quite there yet. One of the biggest knocks on Hollis Jefferson's game right now is his deep shooting, which is why NBA teams didn't play him in the position he's at now. Throughout his career, that means high school, college and the pros, Hollis Jefferson has never been even a decent three-point shooter, college, NBA and overseas in the low 20s on average from three. In a day and age like today, in the NBA specifically, where he doesn't have such great physical advantage over the competition, it was important he developed an outside shot at only 6'7 at any position, seeing as that's what the game is now. All the players on the floor are expanding their game to be able to space the floor more and it's shocking to see he still hasn't found a way to bring that part of his game up to speed. The issue may begin with his form, which is not the best for consistently making deep shots. He said that around the time Kobe was leaving the NBA on retirement, he got a chance to speak with him and ask him advice. Kobe, always willing to help the youth of the game, said to him, just fall in love with the elbow, pretty much suggesting he become a mid-range sniper. It seems Hollis Jefferson listened and it changed his game but it must have took time away from developing his three point shot because low 20s is not going to cut it in a league like the NBA. He's made great strides but not quite there yet. Stunt number three, the right opportunity. Lastly, I would say a huge reason Rondé Hollis Jefferson became Kobe 2.0 too late was in the league he didn't have the right opportunity to and that's not to blame any one person. Rondé said himself that when he was younger, the only reason he scored was because he was taller than the other kids, but he's always had a lot of work to do on his game for how raw he came in. Obviously athletic and great size for basketball, but because high school was a mirage, able to easily physically dominate, and at Arizona, being their spark plug with his athleticism and defensive commitment, when he got to the league, none of that mattered. Again, likely because he just wasn't the player he is now, literally an entirely different position and game style. If he gets back into the league, it'll take the right situation for him to flourish and it'll be interesting to see what he does with it. 
All in all, I think Rondé Hollis Jefferson is in a great position right now to be entering his prime and compared to a player like Kobe that everyone loves and holds dear after his tragic accident. I think he will get a phone call back to the league. Hopefully, this time, it sticks. Salute, much respect, it's your boy JC Stunning Growth, and I'm out.